pay attention to details. If you own me and you guard me, and I'm here, a lot of times you hit and you look down, the human body is going to respond. But as, you, as you're responding, I'm going up. It's not that it's Right now, nowhere else getting a personal workout from LSU star, as he's formerly known as Chris Jackson, man, goes by Muhammad. He's getting some drills. Uh, guy played all pro 10 years, plays in Italy now. So he's getting some private lessons on basically point guard and how to score and how to make himself better. That's basically what Noel does throughout. He picks up things from various NBA, not just NBA players, but NBA stars. And he puts it into his game, what type of player that he is. So that's basically what he's doing right now. Is going one-on-one -on -one with a player formerly known as Chris Jackson. That's it. He played at LSU with Shaq and Stanley Rogers. Man, he was high I mean, he was All-American all the time, man, after about 40 points. So, Noel else gets some good lessons. And that's, and that's what makes that's what makes Noel who he is, you know. He has those type of contacts, and, and he's willing to perform, and, and that's how he gets better. Uh, my name is Mahmoud abdul Rose. I was known as Chris Jackson through my LSU years and maybe uh, first two years or so in Denver. Well, he, he can handle the ball. I mean, to be 6'7", he handles the ball well. He can definitely shoot the ball. Uh, pretty strong for his size. From what, I, what I've seen, uh, just hanging on his body a little. But I, I, I don't like to predict, but I'll say this. If he keeps improving, sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. I mean, he moves well. Seems like he has good foot uh, feet work. Uh, like I said, he shoots the ball well. He's, he's pretty strong, just to be 16 years old, 6'7". Uh, looks like he jumps well, you know, so, and, and, and it's natural, it looks natural. It's not, not, it doesn't look like he's trying to force it, or he looks stiff, he looks fluid with it, just real comfortable with it. And, and that's, you know, for his age, uh, you don't see that in a lot of guys, from my experience. So it's, it's nice to see. That's why I said to his father, anytime you need me, because I, I like to see that. I'm just happy to be here, man, and I, w I wish him well. Uh, I hope that he has an injury-free uh, career. I hope he continues to improve. And I'm just looking forward to working with him, just to watch him grow. Well, Noel is physically stronger, and he knows, and he's one of those kids that's going to work on his game. He's gotten stronger. His rebound is going to improve. Uh, that's probably the biggest thing. What I've seen is that he's more explosive. If that's possible, you know, kept, kept forgetting he was he was a good player last year, but he was just 15 years old. Now the maturity has stepped in, and he's gotten better, and he's gotten stronger. And that's probably my biggest thing that I've seen uh, him coming in here and working out. He's more explosive, and, you know, he knows he's going to take over a game, and he'll be called upon to take over some games. Uh, and, and the reason why he has that type of leeway on my team, which is a fundamental, fundamentally sound team and we're team-oriented, that he, he's working right now and doing these certain things. So in the game, if we have to call on him, and we will be calling on him, he can take over the game. He relieves a lot of pressure when things break down. All you have is 23 points a game, five rebounds, four assists, and three steals. And shot over 80% from the free throw line and hurt. So we're gonna try, hopefully gonna stay healthy, uh, God willing, and, and we're looking for some, you know, him to do some big things. Oh, he's probably in the top 10. I, I think he's the top player in, Oh, nine, of course, uh, from top to bottom, they can do everything. You know, this guy's bigger, okay, and it's big centers, but as far as being able to do everything, he can bring the ball down the court. He can initiate the offense. He can be a defensive stopper. He can do it all. Uh, great. He can lead the team in assists, rebounds, steals. So I, I'm thinking, in my personal opinion, I think he's in the top, in the top players in the country in this class. Watched him play. Uh, you know, that's a star-studded type team uh, with Noel. You know, that kind of, with him being so unselfish, he got so many stars. That's that's the type of kid he is. He, you know, he could take over, but he he didn't really have to take over. He was content with passing the ball, doing his role. But you know, here at Fayette County High School, you'll see his full game come to fruition as far as him, what he can do. You'll see him come down, you'll see him coming down, playing the point, you'll see him play shooting guard, you'll see him playing everything. You'll see him go inside, uh, you'll see him take over games one-on-one, -on -one. you'll see him be, be real defense. Probably the biggest thing you're gonna see this year from Fayette County, you're gonna see Noel get rebounds and we're gonna start our break. You know, I had him releasing last year because he had some ankle problems and people didn't realize he was probably hurt 
all last year. If he stays healthy and strong, he's going to get that thing off the glass, and he'll start our fast break and everyone else will feel. And I'm, I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be exciting. Uh, and he's going to be called upon to do a lot. You know, we're going to have a, a lot of teams are going to be shooting for us, and we know that based on him and based on we having returning starters come back, and we just got to be ready for that challenge. And I think we're going to be ready for that challenge, and I, and I know Noel's going to be ready for the challenge. I, you know, I'm looking forward to this. Like I said, I'm looking forward for this year as far as with Noel and our team in general, a lot of things that we can do and what our goal, how, hung, how hungry we're going to be. We've got to realize that teams are going to play their best game against us. It don't matter. We'll watch teams play and we'll look at them and go, man, we can do it. But when they come here and play here, we go there. We kind of have a bulls out. And I don't think Fayette County, is, I don't think we've comprehended that, not even last year. And I think that's, that's going to be my job to make sure that we're ready to play every every game. And uh, and we're going to go from there. So that's, that's exciting. That makes it exciting. Because if we don't come out, we'll get embarrassed. If we come out and play like we're capable, it could be something special this coming season. Well, I think his best game was probably when it was on the line. We played Westlake in the region championship game. You know, he's the one that's got us off. He probably had 18 points in the first quarter. He told me he got on fire, got unconscious, and we were just feeding it to him. And, and Westlake, you know, that's a great team. He just came out, and we was able to use that energy with him getting off early and was able to hold on and, and win the region title. So I think that's probably one of his better games. And he would start getting back. He's, he still wasn't in shape last year, you know. He missed seven games, and he was hurt, and probably really hurt in the rest of the games. This is October the 18th. I'm saying when it comes out, uh, I would I would think we would be in the top ten.